What's up y'all, welcome back. It is Tuesday, which means it is time for a tank review. So it has been a really long time since I've done one of these, but I'm pretty excited because I am gonna be redoing some of my fish tanks. So I thought we would bring it back. Also, I am planning on doing this as an ongoing series again. So if there's a tank that you want me to check out, go ahead and put it in the comment section below and I will try to pick it up. So I'm not really super thrilled with the look of a couple of my tanks that I have currently. So I wanted to go get something that's more, more my traditional love, which is a boxy square style tank with a nice bright light. So when I went into PetSmart, I had to pick this tank up because it looked exactly like what I was going for. So I grabbed the Top Fin Rimless Five Gallon Aquarium. So it is a little bit more of an expensive tank. It is normally a $70 aquarium. Right now you can get it online for 20% off, making it a $56 purchase, especially considering the one that I really want is by Fluval and it's way over $100. I think in the case of these tanks, we're often paying more for the light than we are for the tank, which can be worth it because I really want to do a heavily, heavily, heavily planted aquarium on this one. I'm actually planning on trying to get some clown killifish and they do best in a heavily, heavily planted tank. So that is what we are doing. We are doing a heavily planted tank, which means we need good lighting. We need good lighting. Unlike the amazing lighting in my kitchen, even with a ring light trying to assist me. So let's flip her around and see what all comes inside this kit. So for starters, we have the five gallon glass tank, removable glass lid, bright white LED fixture with easy touch button, top fin integrated filter with directional output flow, and the top fin RFL large sheet filter cartridge. So let's open it up and check it out. My handy dandy box cutter to make my life easy this time. A few moments later. Okay. Check these out. Little styrofoams in my way, making it difficult. Of course, we have our handy dandy little instruction guides our light fixture, or at least part of it. We have our lid, which is very secure right now. So I'm gonna put that off to the side before I break it. So. Last but not least, the tank. This is exactly what I'm looking for as far as aesthetics. So hopefully, hopefully it runs as well as I hope it does. Let's look inside. So. We have our little filter cartridge. Outtake, let's take a look at our pump. So one drawback that I'm already seeing right now does not have an adjustable pump. Hopefully it's not too crazy powerful of a filter because it does not, it's not adjustable. When I'm buying a tank, that is one thing I really, really appreciate is when there is an adjustable water pump, but it is what it is, it's unfortunate. Hopefully the filter's not too strong. If it is, if it is, there's ways around that, but I'm hoping that it's just not too crazy high of a flow. So we have our lights and all the plastic. Our lid, which I'm like almost afraid. These glass lids always make me nervous till I get the little clips on them. And here are our lid clips. So we're gonna do that right away. Um, even perfect looking good so far and let's get out our plug okay so it looks like it's all in one so I do like this and I don't like this the thing that I do like about this is that I have so many things plugged into the wall it is stupid it is stupid how much stuff I have plugged into my wall then your filter and your lights are plugged into one thing so you can't really run them separately like I said 
good and bad. If I wanted to change out how I did my filtration or if I wanted to change out the light, then I would just have this like kind of hokey thing, but that's okay. We are gonna hook this up. This one's gonna go into my light. Pull out my filter wire. We're gonna plug that in. Put this lid back on. And we're gonna go ahead and clip in our lights. So we got the clip right here, where it goes right here. Another thing I'm gonna say I don't care much for right off the bat is that the light is gonna block where my filter is, so you would have to remove the light to get to the filter pump. But, I mean, how often are you gonna be cleaning a filter pump, really? You shouldn't really have to clean your filter pump maybe more than like once a month, if that. But do make sure that you are cleaning out your filter pump every now and then because if you don't, it can get jammed full of stuff and then you might think that your filter is broken and really it's just full of stuff. Or there is the possibility that a snail wandered in there and got stuck in, in the filter pump. Not that that happened to me last week to one of my other filters. So I do need to go ahead and fill this up so we can go ahead and try and test out the filter and test out the lights. So. I'll be right back. Two hours later. Okay, so that actually took a little bit less time than I thought it would, and we're gonna go ahead and plug her in and try her out. Okay, so the filter doesn't look like it's too crazy powerful, and the light looks nice. I like this light. Worst case, if it's not bright enough, I have a similar light that I can just throw on there. Okay, the filter does look a little bit, a little bit strong, and we don't wanna blow our fish all over the tank. Now my fix is gonna be, I'm gonna plant probably some really tall, thick plants back here by the filter to kind of slow things down, a natural way of kind of baffling the tank. But um, there are other things you can do that um, would probably take a little bit too long to get into in this video. Um, I have put baffles on my other tanks before. Head, I did one on a hang on back filter with a plastic water bottle. And with this one, I did a long time ago, I had to baffle one like this and I just took a rubber band and rubber banded some filter floss over the power head, which kind of slowed down that water flow. This filter though, y'all, is like silent. And the light is pretty bright. I don't know if you can see it on my face. It's not a very deep aquarium, so that light should penetrate pretty well. I really like a rimless tank. I think they look really, really nice. They are extremely easy to break, so you wanna be really, really careful with this. The last one that I had like this, I always put the lid on a towel, just in case, so that it didn't come in contact with this hard granite. You don't want glass accidentally banging on your granite countertops, or your countertops in general, because it'll break, it'll break. Glass shatters easily. I did break one of my lids once and that was lesson learned. I chipped the, the side of it. This is a really nice tank. I'm very excited about it and I'm going to hopefully start setting this up here in the next week or two. But I have a lot of plants that I gotta order and we have weird crazy weather and they won't ship to me unless the weather is just right. So here's hoping for good weather so that I can get the plants that I want for this tank. So anyway guys, that's all I really have for y'all today. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.